Hi, my name is Noach Jubilier. I'm the Director of Community Planning here at the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. Today is my grandmother's Yortzeit, and her name is Sylvia Blasberg. I do this in her honor. I'm also honored to bring to you this week's Torah portion, my namesake, Parshat Noach. We all know the story of Noach where God says to Noach, there's going to be a great flood, and I need you to build an ark so that you can take on it two of every species of animal and bird, and thus um, save humanity. And that's indeed what happens. God sends 40 days of, 40 nights of rain and, and floods the earth, and eventually uh, the ark settles on Mount Ararat. Uh, Noah opens up the windows and sends out the birds to see if it's safe to leave the ark. The dove comes back with a olive branch in its mouth, and that's a great sign. And he sends out another dove, and the dove doesn't come back. This is the symbol that it's time to leave the ark. And God made a, a blessing upon Noah and his family. He said, go forth, be fruitful, multiply. And he also told Noah that he was going to establish a covenant, that never again was he going to send another flood. And the symbol of this covenant was the rainbow. Noah went on, planted a vineyard, made wine, and lived out his days till he was 958 years old. And his family was fruitful and multiplied. And finally, at the end of the story, we have the Tower of Babel. His descendants settled in Babylon and decided to build a tower all the way up to heaven. This angered God, and he caused all of the people of the earth to speak a different language, thus removing their ability to communicate with each other and disperse them amongst the earth. The finishing part of the parsha is listing the ten generations that came after Noah. The tenth generation was Abraham, Avram Avinu, who eventually married Sarah. In all of these messages, I find that two stand out for me in this parsha: hope and community. Hope. Noah was singled out to build the ark, and it was through the ark and through Noah that all of humanity and all of animal kingdom was saved. And it showed that the human race was spared and that the flood washed everything away and was able to start anew. And the message that we're trying to convey here is that it's never too late. God is always there to welcome you back with open arms. And we can always begin anew. Um, not only begin anew, but even find fulfillment and success in whatever we do. Second is community. So how does this Parsha speak to me as a man, as a member of the Milwaukee Jewish community? Well, as individuals, the lessons of the Parsha teach us that whenever we're confronted with a difficult situation, a, a, very, a time of hardship or a phase in our lives that is it's very difficult to overcome, it's important to remember that just like the flood, its purpose is to cleanse, is to renew. So by following the example of Noah and the story, who didn't panic in the face of the impending floodwaters and pending doom, he stood his ground and he got to work. So by focusing on the opportunity that comes with the challenge instead of the difficulty, we, we can f transform the destructive nature of the floodwaters into the waters of Noah, waters of tranquility and of rest. As a member of this community, of this ark, I see incredible amounts of capacity for partnership. And just as the birds and animals loaded on the ark, we need to make sure that all of us are taken care of, that none of us is too great or too small. We're in this together. Second, in this community, we have a covenant between one another. We have an actual covenant between one another. It's our rainbow. and. It's a symbol that we might not see every day, but it's there nonetheless, and it teaches us that we have to be civil and to be righteous, compassionate, educated, and to be beautiful. So I want to leave on this note. Whenever the flood waters rise around you and you find yourself in a difficult or trying situation, you feel afraid, I urge you to find your community, to find your covenant, find your ark, find your rainbow. Shabbat Shalom, Milwaukee.